Hey y'all. Um, so my husband made me some popsicles. He made them with um, Gatorade Zero and excuse me. And he made some with the protein water that I love that I've shown you guys before. The um, coconut pineapple one. And um, I'm freezing too, by the way, y'all. Today's the first day that I've experienced the the cold thing, like freezing thing that everybody talks about. Um, but anyway, um, he made me some popsicles. And I thought it was a great idea to make the ones out of protein water, especially because I love that water. I love anything and everything coconut. And so I decided I was going to try one today. And it's not sitting well at all. It's like it's stuck in the top part of my stomach and lower chest area. Like that, that area right there. It's, it's just, and it's real weird. Um, but when I was leaving the hospital and my surgeon came in and talked to me before I left, he said to make my main priority was staying hydrated this week. To not worry about protein, even if it was clear protein. And I'm say this is why. I'm not sure how common this is with people, even with clear proteins. But uh, my broth and water, um, tea, even has not done me this way. So no more protein for me this week, um, as long as I'm on the the clear liquids. So today's day four. Today's yeah, Saturday, I think. I think today's Saturday. I see him probably Tuesday. Um, I have to call Monday and see. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give it a few more days on the clear protein. So, if your surgeon tells you to wait, I would wait. Um, it's nothing fancy or too formal to track my water. Just a little pad that I had here at the house. It's not even set up for what I'm using it for, but it was laying here and I thought, yeah, I'm just going to use it. So you see I have my times for every hour, 8 to 8. Uh, 9 to 10, I napped, so I'll try to make up that water intake throughout the day a little bit of time, or maybe push it back, you know, to 9 p.m. Um, so, like I said, five of those, one every 10 minutes on my alarm, and um, every hour on top of the hour, like at 9, then 10, and 11, um, I also have an alarm to get up and walk and to do my breathing exercises with that thing. So, I'm, I fill this up. It keeps the water pretty cold. Um, then, after I finish my last one, I refill my cups. And I leave it sitting here on my dining room table instead of, you know, at the couch where I have been resting. Uh, so that I will have to get it. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's working for me. Um, yeah. And, oh, and at the walk at the top of the hour, um, I walk that entire 10 minutes just around my house um, while I'm sipping on my first water. For the hour um, which actually today uh, is no I see yesterday was the first day yesterday evening um, that I could make it the full 10 minutes of walking without you know getting too sore or feeling like I was overdoing it um, so today is definitely I can tell an improvement in things uh, so yeah I mean this is just a little something I'm doing um, I know there's apps that I can use on my phone to track my water intake and movement and all that but um, I just do better with pen and paper I don't know what it is I don't know why I'm just better with sticking to things like that um, even with grocery lists I'm not one to use my phone to do that on because well, first of all my grocery lists are usually huge anyway so but yeah, I'm just a pen and paper kind of chick. And um, I think I forgot to mention also that today is 
a four post stop for me. And uh, I just started doing that yesterday. Um, so day one post stop, I was at the hospital till that evening. The long drive home was really uncomfortable. Um, and so I rested that evening. That was Wednesday. Thursday, again, I just rested. Um, still felt really, was feeling really tired. And I'm still taking um, the pain medication that they sent me home with. And so I started the tracking and got more consistent with the walking at the top of every hour um, yesterday, day three. So I'm feeling much better today. Uh, no pain meds uh, so far. If I do feel like I need one to sleep tonight, I may or may not take one. Um, I'm trying to stop not taking it. Stop my take. I'm trying to stop taking them. That's not something that I want to be on for the long haul. Um, well, not a long haul. They only give me like 20, but um, I just want to do this without them. I should have just said that instead of rambling all that other BS. So, but um, another thing too, that I mean, I'm, I'm probably sure I knew it, but didn't pay as much attention to. Y'all realize that every other commercial on TV is a flipping food commercial? Yeah. So. <sighs> it is what it is. Hey, y'all. It's day five, post-op. I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, still setting my alarms and getting up and moving around and doing my breathing exercises every hour. The water, on the other hand, not going so well. Um, today is the first day that I've actually struggled to get it in. Um, it's um, uncomfortable in my chest and my upper stomach. The same feeling that the protein popsicle um, caused. Um, I'm feeling when I'm doing the water every 10 minutes. Um, I felt a little dizzy earlier today. At first I thought I was dehydrated because I slept in a little longer than I usually do. And so I didn't get started on my water until like noon. And I thought, surely I'm not getting dehydrated that quick. Um, but then I realized I took a Zofran yesterday evening because I felt nauseous. And dizziness and headache and all that jazz is a side effect of Zofran. So, because my mouth is not dry or anything. It was a little yesterday evening, but not today. So, um, with my water how I was doing a little cup every 10 minutes at the beginning of the hour. It left some time at the end of the hour. Um, so I think what I'm going to do uh, to try to avoid that uncomfortable feeling in my chest a little more, um, or ease it up rather, is I think I'm going to have a little less water every 10 minutes but push my cut you know my, the time that I stop drinking anything before bed so that I'm up, not up on that pen um, I'll just have to push it back to a little later uh, just so I get it all in because I, I don't want to end up back at the hospital and dehydrated so that's the plan day 5 post op and things are going good Thanks for watching. Hey y'all. Um, since I was feeling dizzy earlier, just to be on the safe side, my husband uh, went to the store and got me um, a different flavor of Gatorade uh, Zero because the other one, the lemon lime just wasn't sitting well with me. So um, 
I'm going to have two of those. I've already had a few. I've got one more little cup of water, and I'm, as you can see, I managed to meet my goal, um, even though I got behind. So, yeah, I'm going to start every hour replacing two of my little cups of water with the berry Gatorade, because that one seems to be working out fine for me. <clears throat> Something else that has happened, um, so I've discovered that Stella, aka my sleeve, does not like coffee. Mandy, aka the sleeve Nana, happens to love coffee. So I'm going to give Stella her way here for a little while and revisit this. And uh, for my warm beverage of the day, I'm just going to have some warm tea. And uh, that will be that, I guess. <laughs> and I will update if that changes. And, and if any of you all have experienced that, uh, that you didn't like something at first, it didn't set well with you, if it's something that you revisited, let me know in the comments. Um, because it's really bugging me. It's really bothering me, y'all. So, yeah, let me know. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, y'all. It's Mandy here, a.k.a. The Sleeved Nana. Today's day six, post-op. Um, everything's going great so far. Um, my energy's been really good today. So good that I was able to fix my husband and son a real meal, um, and they seemed to really enjoy that. So, um, but during the time that I was in the kitchen, time got away from me, and I forgot to drink my water. So, what I'll do is instead of my cutoff being eight o'clock. I'll just push it back till 9. I had to do the same thing yesterday, and uh, I didn't have any problems. So, uh, for dinner, I had one ounce of bone broth, uh, one ounce of jello, and then I had an ounce of Gatorade sitting there and an ounce of water. I knew I wasn't going to get all of that in, uh, but I just didn't know, like, you know, what I would want. Um, I should not have pushed myself to finish the full ounce of Gatorade. I knew when I was doing it that I shouldn't have. Um, but in my head, I was just thinking about, you know, not getting my water in for the past hour, and it, I knew better. Um, so now I'm feeling... bloated and just too full, and um, my face is flush, like you can see, even my, my ears are red. It's wild. Um, but now I am at the age where I'm having them hot flashes too. So maybe that's what this is. I don't know. But just to be on the safe side, I am going to take it easy for the next 30 minutes or so. Uh, I say that, but I don't know. I tell myself I'm going to, but who knows. Uh, I'm not going to have anything. I'm not going to force myself to drink anything or have anything for the next 30 minutes for sure. Um, so yeah, but I think it's fine. I don't think it's like dumping syndrome or anything like that. I think I just did too much too fast. So, but yeah, tomorrow is my one week post-op, but my surgeon, my appointment with my surgeon is not until Wednesday. So probably what I'll do is I will, uh, go ahead and weigh myself tomorrow and write that down or video it probably, um, then I won't make a video or post anything until after I see my surgeon. So, yeah, that, that is the plan. Um, just want to thank everybody for watching. Thank everybody who has subscribed. And if you're just now finding me, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.